It's September, which means back to school. And that's exactly where we're going. Canada be damned. I'm going to the Klondike. The Klondike is Canada. Giorgio, you be doing just fine, brother. It's not often said, but the setting of a film plays an important role, more so than I think we're willing to admit. I personally have talked plenty about the importance of characters, but the setting is something I've only briefly touched upon. It has a huge influence on what types of characters inhabit that environment. And if you're a film like With Honors, and most of your time is spent at one location, the setting might as well be the gatekeeper to determine whether or not you're someone who can stay. With Honors is a movie from the mid-90s, which tells the story of Simon Wilder, Monty Kessler, his three roommates, and how they learn to grow together. In more specific terms, With Honors is about a quirky homeless man who blackmails his way into an accord with a Harvard senior. You want something? I need something. All right, then what do I get? Well, for each thing you give, I'll give you one thing. A chapter. No, a page is a thing. A chapter is a whole lot of things. There are 88 pages in that thesis. Our quirky homeless man is Simon Wilder, and he's played by Joe Pesci, a role unlike much of what Pesci is known for, yet one in which he thrives beautifully. He is the film's standout performance, because he's written in such a way that any actor can have fun with him and really sink their teeth into the character. You wouldn't know it at first, but he is brash and blunt. Your thesis? Is that what this piece of shit's supposed to be? What do you see when you look at me? What do you see? A man. No, you see a piece of shit, Harvard. Yet he can also be funny. What kind of doctor are you gonna be? Gynecologist. Well, that's good. The only way you'll ever get some young sweet thing to drop her drawers for you. Be careful, Mr. Wilder. You're coming dangerously close to contempt of court. I'll drop the charges of public intoxication. Thank you, Your Honor. You're a gentleman and a scholar. I knew once we got to know each other, we'd hit it off famously. And to think when I heard that phony accent, I thought he was going to be an asshole. Poetic. When it comes to relationships, everybody's a used car salesman. Women, ain't they perfect? Don't matter if they're skinny, fat, blonde, or blue. If a woman is willing to give you her love, Harvey, it's the greatest gift in the world. And insightful. You know why you hate me so much, Jeffrey? Because I look the way you feel. Our victim of blackmail is Monty Kessler, and he's played by Brendan Fraser. Although the straight man in comparison to Pesci, Fraser certainly has his moments. Do you love me, Gorky? Gorky? <laughs> Are you and Everett sleeping together? I thought so. I'm talking to a chicken. And of course, there's Monty's roommates, who come and go, and chirp in to add to this duo. What are you, expecting an invasion? I don't want to be murdered in my bed. Your bed is the one place you're totally safe. But to get back to my opening point, it is these characters and the setting in which they reside that's interesting. With our two main leads, the setting of Harvard University couldn't be more different for each. It is more accepting of one over the other, but not because of their character, but because of a reflection of society in general. Yet I do find it intriguing that the most prestigious school in America is used to muse about the homeless and homelessness. For that time, and perhaps still today, there may not be a setting that's as much of an opposing symbol of the poor than Harvard. To that institution's credit, with honors doesn't shy away from leaning into that notion. It is this notion and the stereotypes of the poor and homeless that directly affect our cast. Some of them have a much further journey because their preconceived notions are more deeply seated and stubborn to abandon, while others are more open because they're focused on character, not class. 
And while we're talking about a person's character, it should be mentioned that a key theme of With Honors is quitting versus persistence. It is that theme that strikes at the core of our characters, both literally and figuratively. Our leads especially struggle with this choice, when to quit and when to carry on. From the top of the film, Monty is bright-eyed, bushy-tailed, and eager to complete his thesis. He has tunnel vision, and there's no indication he's going to quit anytime soon. However, when it comes to his attraction to Courtney, Monty's quit before he's even started. With Simon, he's quit just about everything he's ever started. Yet, in no way is he delusional about it. I'm not a loser, Harvard. I'm a quitter. You had a wife and a son, and you left them? Yeah. And you never came back? It's not something I'm proud of, Harvard. For a time, it seems the blackmail may be the only thing he's willing to stay the course on. For both of these characters, the unifying thing they can't quit is each other. Although their relationship started under nefarious circumstances, a bond is formed through getting to know each other. Once early judgments of who they think each other are are debunked, and their true souls are exposed, their relationship evolves alongside their character development. It is through this journey together, each of them learns the importance of living and working for what you believe in, not merely to appease another, yet not so much so to abandon those closest to us. I think it is these characteristics of With Honors which appeals to my sentimental nature. These recognizably human traits and themes, in a setting that's coldly analytical, makes for a film that stimulates the heart and mind. For that, I give it top marks.